What's up, everybody? Super crazy am here. Now, before we get started on this best stretch big build that I'm about to do right now, please do me a favor, man. Go down below, man, and please hit subscribe. And yeah, man, I'm about to be start uploading a ton of videos for you guys. Um, so let's just jump right into it here, man. For stretch bigs, you can either go with a center or a power forward. Me personally, to start off with, I'm going to go with a power forward. Personally, it's just my personal preference. Um, and you can see his badges right here, pick and popper, corner specialist, catch and shoot, limitless range, and dead range, dead eye. All very good badges. Um, actually, all these badges are actually really easy to get for the most part. Um, the one that you're probably going to have the mo most trouble with is probably deep range, dead eye. And even that's not even that bad. So, before we get into it, I'm actually, I'm, I might not even touch his height. Because for a power forward, you want his height to be at about 6'9 anyways. He doesn't really need to be any bigger than that. But if you really want to, you could go 6'10. It's not really going to hurt anything. Um, his speed's going to go down a little bit. His vert and his acceleration, um, which is, I mean, whatever. Um, but me personally, I'm going to leave him at 6'9 because I want my power forward to be 6'9 because I want to be able to move around the court a little bit faster than uh, most uh, stretch bigs are going to move if you're going to pick a center with his height you're going to want to put him at six foot ten so obviously because if you put him at seven foot three he's not going to be able to move around the court like you want him to and you're not going to be able to play defense efficiently um especially if you're out there guarding you know maybe shooting guards or point guards you know and three on three so you want to make him six foot nine well i mean six nine if he's a power forward and you want to make him six ten if he's a center his wingspan no matter if it's a center or if it's a power forward, you want to max his wingspan out. Now, this is the max wingspan, I guess, for power forward. Um, so this is what we're going to go with. It's not really going to hurt you too much. It does say open shot three goes down and this and that, but I'm not really too worried about that. And him being six foot nine, the max wingspan will definitely help him out on defense as well. Same thing for the center. Um, his weight, you're going to want to put his weight all the way down. This is, this is a big thing here. Um, you're not really worried about boxing out. You're not worried about strength. You're not worried about contact. You want his speed to be up, his acceleration to be up, lateral quickness, and all that other stuff. So you want his his weight to be the lowest it will go for a power forward or a center. Now moving on, you want his shoulder width to be max. No matter if it's a power forward or a center, you want it to be the most it will go. You don't want no short you know, width. You want that to be maxed out. And also, the shoulder width actually helps out the wingspan. So you guys can see right here, obviously, if I bring it down, his wingspan goes down. And if I move it up, his wingspan goes up, which you want as long as wingspan as you could get because it really helps on defense and getting steals and all the other fun uh, stuff. So, so yeah. Um, now, this too, man, you can either pick a right-hand shot or a left-hand shot. Personally, if, if you watch a lot of videos like I've been watching this stuff, it seems that the left-hand shooters actually make a lot more shots than the right hand shooters i don't know why that is uh, maybe it's just a myth but you start to notice it or maybe it's just a lot of people are actually using left hand instead of right hand so i'm gonna go with left hand just because they say it's better and i personally seen a lot of people with left hand um shooters out there haven't really seen too many right hand so we're gonna go with that um jersey numbers kind of whatever you want to pick i'll just put 99 now I'm going to show you guys what attribute upgrades that you want to upgrade to begin with when you first start out with your new stretch big, whether it be a center or a power forward. This is what you're going to want to max out, which is obviously the most important, is obviously going to be your three-pointer. Now this is the most important one out of everything here you're going to want to max out. Obviously his three-point shooting. His agility is going to be another one you're going to want to max out. There's going to be another major one because you're going to gonna, you're, you're gonna want to be able to move around the court. Um, so his speed is actually very important. And that's another thing that you're going to want to uh, definitely max out at the beginning um, when you're first starting out with him. Um, ball control. I mean, it kind of all depends on... Um, you know, how you want to do this. I mean, you can go with defense... Uh, a lot of people go with shot all dribble because obviously they like to dribble and do their little moves and stuff like that. But as you can see, it's nothing special here. I mean, off shot, it's, it goes up to like a 70. So, I mean, your best bet is just to max these two out to start with if you can. Um, Mid-range is always good too, but it's not it's not a, a must um, to start out with. 
a lot of people go with playmaking as well. But personally, my my uh, my opinion, um, speed with the ball is actually important in this game. Um, your passing is good because if you don't have passing as a big man, then you're gonna be in trouble. Um, defending, you could kind of get away with defending um, as long as you got your speed up. Uh, you got definitely gamble a little bit uh, as far as defense goes. So some people, like I said, go with shot off dribble and layups and all this mid range and all that other nonsense. But my personal opinion would have to be um, to go with the ball control and get this up there. This is important. This is what you want to um, uh, get up there at first, max out if you can. Um, speed with the ball is important. Passing is definitely important. Um, even though it doesn't go up a ton. But you wanted to be the best that it could be at your height. So um, we'll just see where we at with this. I still have some VC to spend. So we'll purchase these really quick. We'll get him, you know, you know wherever he's at now. And then I'll, obviously we'll go on to the next one and see what's the next thing that we should um, get in, um, as far as to update your attributes. All right, so that brought me up to a 72 overall. Obviously, I don't have enough uh, VC to, to get him to an 86 overall, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, rebounding, you're not too worried about um, to start out with, to be perfectly honest. Um, strength, you're not worried about. You're not worried about any of that nonsense, uh, to be honest with you. Your vert is the most important thing. We're getting rebounds. Um, and that's already maxed out. His speed's maxed at 67, which is pretty good for a big guy. Um, it's not too bad. It's not too slow. Um, where if you're seven foot three and your speed's at like 35, you know, or 32, something like that. So that's this is literally going to help you guys out. Um, post scoring, you shouldn't be worried about. Uh, me personally, I might go and max out mid range just so I have a good mid range or close to mid range, close to maxing it out. From there with this, we're going to add that to the cart. And we're going to see where this puts me at. Um, like I said, guys, this is the best tutorial that I could give you um, from my own personal um, experience. I've played stretch bigs before. Um, they're fun, man. They're a lot of fun to, to actually you know, use and play with. And it's it's definitely fun. They're easy. The easiest badge to get in the game are definitely for uh, stretch bigs. Um, and obviously, as you earn VC by playing my career and grinding your badges, you can update all these. I mean, you know, it's it's not going to take you long to upgrade all these, um, what you call it, all these things that you need to upgrade. Strength, like I said, is not important. Um, Rebounding is not important to begin with. The next thing you're going to want to, to be honest, you know, upgrade if you, I mean, if you really, really want to. Um, you know, I shouldn't be worried about dunking too much because you're mainly going to be shooting as a stretch big. Um, so mid range and three point are definitely your most, two most important stats that you're going to definitely want to max out. Um, your shot off the dribble, like I said, can be important too, but that's really up to you. That's all, that's all your decision. Um, but yeah, guys, do me a favor, man. If you like the tutorial, man, do me a favor and please subscribe, share the video, like it, man, all that other fun jazz. I'm going to be trying to get out some more videos, maybe some more tutorials on the best builds for other um, types of archetypes or whatever you want to call them. So, yeah, man, do me a favor, guys. If you like the video, please like the video, share it. If not, do what you do. Super crazy. I'm out. Peace.